he ruins dinner and starts again. He finds a recipe but has no pen. He's always messing up, but that's okay. Cause he's the amateur gourmet. The amateur gourmet. The amateur gourmet. Okay. Say latte art. No. Latte art. I say latte art. Mommy pass a basket. One more time. Say latte art. Latte art. Hi, I'm Adam Roberts, the amateur gourmet, and we're at my favorite coffee shop, Joe the Art of Coffee, and I'm gonna learn how to make latte art. All right, so master barista Amanda is about to come out and teach me how to make uh, latte art. There she is, oh, Amanda. Hi. So, are you gonna teach us today, like just the most basic? Yes, design? I'm gonna teach you the most basic form of latte art, which is the Rosetta, which you'll see. Okay, how hard is it to learn? Do you think I'm going to learn really fast, or do you think it takes a while? I think you have to, as long as you're a committed student, and you're focused, okay. and you want to do it, then I think you may be able to pick it up. Okay, let's see how I do. Okay. Okay. So I'll just make that. Yeah, let's make it. Let's see how it goes. So you're going to make latte art right now. I am. Oh, that's exciting. Whoa. So I'm banging out all the, all the <laughs> larger bubbles that are in the milk here. Okay. Uh, Ready? Here we go. Oh, so this cool. is a small latte to go. So I don't even know what I just watched. I can't even I can't even understand how I could do that myself. <laughs> I think she, she kind of poured it and like squeak, you know, shook her hand hey, a little Maggie? bit. Maggie, huh? you're having a large glass of say, right? We'll let you pour it. <laughs> oh, well, I don't want to. That's He's over the not heart. fair for you, though. No, that's okay. I mean, I'll make all the elements. It'll taste the same. It just might not be very pretty. It might be ugly. It might be ugly. What I'm gonna say is that when you're pouring, it's kind of like using. A bike break. Uh -huh. You do like that gesture? Yeah. It's not in the wrist. It's okay. all in your hand. Oh. It's like if you're doing one of those stress things. Oh, I want to say like that. I'm doing it right now, right? Exactly. Yeah. Are you ready? I'm nervous. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to start the cup. Uh -huh. You want to pour about right into the middle there. And let's see what happens. Okay. Okay. Fill the cup. Pour right. Go ahead and rest this right here. Okay. Okay, now what you're going to do is you're going to bring this hand forward and start pouring more out. Now start your bike breaking. Oh no. Oh, see, no, not wrist, bike break it. Oh god, this is so ugly. Look, I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, that's a huge mess. See? This is hard work. Now pour a little more out. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> I'm sorry about Isn't that. that. Oh, this poor guy, he wanted beautiful art, and look what I did. It's like Jackson Pollock. Okay, so I'm watching you pour it. So it's like, I think the secret is that you're confidently pouring it in. And then, yes, that's huge. And you're also... Um, that's non-fat with an extra shot. I think that the volume of milk, the amount of milk that you're letting out, the meat point of pouring is more, and you start pouring exactly. more out. So you're going to be like... A little bit, little bit, little bit, then a lot, 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 lot. Squiggle, squiggle, oh. squiggle, back. Forward. Be my last chance. <laughs> last chance. <laughs> to prove myself worthy last. of latte maker. So I think the secret I've learned is that I have to loosen my grip and uh, be a little more uh, confident with my pour. Pour, I uh, you know, be pouring more into the middle at the beginning and not be so timid as I do it. Okay, this is my big moment. Stretch my arm. Now start, start your bike break. Keep going now. Stay in one place. Oh. Oh. <laughs> well, it's pretty. It's pretty. I was so Look, good I at bet the you I can save it. Oh, there's a heart. Oh, tiniest heart ever. Look what I did. I learned a lot today. <laughs> I came very close to making latte art. But I think if I... No. Um, I wouldn't get a job here necessarily, but I, uh, I feel like if I went home and I practiced... Pretty close, like, if I got to practice this at home, and just heated milk all afternoon. 
Yeah. We bought one of those things. And maybe got one of these. We bought a cat, yeah, bought one of those espresso machines. That'd yeah. be set. Alright, well thanks for tuning in and we'll do this again some other time. Thanks, Amanda. You're welcome.